Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Normal Alavanya Vlogs. So today I am telling about the prepositions. So uh, the prepositions like how to use and um, uh, the formation of the sentence. Okay, here I'll also give you the choosing words like um, choose. Uh, you can also choose from those words to complete the sentence. Okay. So before going to the class, let me say one thing. Like um, uh, if you are new to this class, please subscribe my channel and please uh, uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications from me. So uh, prepositions basics. Uh, let me give you the definition of it. Uh, a preposition is a word or a group of words used before a noun, uh, pronoun or uh, a uh, noun phrase to show directions like uh, time place location relationships or uh, to introduce an object some examples of prepositions uh, prepositions are like words li like uh, in at on of and to okay so let us have this uh here we have a fill in the blanks down so by seeing the fill in the blanks uh, by choosing the words from it you have to complete the sentence so the first sentence goes like her husband did dash the what so what uh, uh, what we have to use here it's, it's like it on in we have three options here to complete the proper sentence what we have to use so her husband dead in the what is a correct uh, word to complete the sentence in the same manner, if you go to the second one, that is a balanced diet is necessary dash good health. So to complete this sentence, what we have to use? A balanced diet is necessary for good health. Okay. So here we have an options like off, for and to. So using this off, for and to, we have completed the second sentence like a balanced diet is necessary for good health. If you keep off and to, the sentence will not be complete. Okay, you can also try doing it so that you will know. And the perfect preposition is for this sentence is for. Let us move to the third one. That is, he throw a bottle dash me, but luckily I dog it. So here we have an option like at and to. Using at and to, we have to complete. So let us use this to and frame a sentence. He throw a bottle at me, but luckily i dogged so uh, using two will frame it again he threw a bottle to me but luckily i dogged so using two i have completed but what do you think which which word is making it sense yes that is it he threw a bottle at me but luckily i dogged is a correct word okay and we have completed third sentence let us move to the fourth sentence that is here he didn't he did not reveal the reason dash his decision so using off for and to the options are here down so using three options we have to complete this sentence so try as we tried for the third sentence just do trying like how what preposition can be fitted in this so that you can easily frame the sentence he did not reveal the reasons for his decision is a correct sentence like for is a correct preposition which we used in this sentence so let us move to the fifth sentence that is last summer we visited 10 countries dash three weeks so here we have three options again in for and since using these three we have to complete the sentence so let us try it one by one last summer we visited 10 countries in three weeks uh, let us uh, we have completed in let's see for the last uh, sorry last summer we visited 10 countries for three weeks or uh, last summer we visited 10 countries since three weeks so what do you think which one is a correct one you can also mention this into the comment box like yes last summer we visited 10 countries in three weeks is a correct preposition we used in this sentence okay so let us quickly move to the sixth one we spent a great deal of time dash the project so which sentence which word is do you think that is correct 
So let us try using these three prepositions in on it. We spent a great deal of time in the project. Or we spent a great deal of time on the project. Or we spent a great deal of time at the project. What do you think which one is the correct one? Yes, we spent a great deal of time on the project is a correct preposition we used in this sentence. So let us move quickly into the seventh sentence that is I was disgusted that the site. So you you hear we have an options like at, by, with, from using uh, all these words. Let us complete. I think uh, probably um, we can select two from this to complete the sentence. Hope so. Let us do it together. Okay. So what will be the um, uh, thing uh, that can be used? That preposition can be fit in it. Was I was disgusted at the site. Do you think this is right? Let us see. I was disgusted by the site. I was disgusted with the site. I was disgusted from the site. What do you think? Which one is correct? Luckily, we have two options going in here. Like um, using uh, four words, we can make proper like proper sentence using two words in it. Like uh, I was disgusted at the site is also correct, and I was disgusted by the site is also correct sentence. Okay. So uh, let's move to the eighth sentence. That is, the table was landed dash all the fruits of the earth. So here we have three options again of from and with. Using these three, we have to complete. So which one is correct? Do you think the table was landed with all the fruits of the earth is a correct way of sentence? So uh, by the way, if I say a proper preposition and complete the sentence uh, make sure that you also use the other prepositions which we have given in the options and see what is the difference it is happening okay so uh, yeah it, so she is devoted the dash talent as well as brain so which one is correct do you think like from weight of fur using these we have to uh, complete so here it is like um, she is devoid of talent as well as brain so wo what uh, word was correct yes that is off next sentence the new principal made a bad impression dash the students with the students on the students by the students what do you think which is a, a correct thing so this uh, mm, sentence is really acting me my position like uh, i'm also a good principal hope so what is impression i made with the students i am not aware but uh, let me mm, let me check it with my school like um, what am i making them yeah so the coming to the sentence the new principal made a bad impression on the students so on the students is a uh, correct preposition we have used in this sentence see uh, the new principal made a bad impression rather i can say happy uh, good impression maybe for myself okay <laughs> yes so 11th sentence he is devoted dash his family so he is devoted to this family or for his family with his family what do you think yes he is devoted to his family is a correct sentence Finally, the twelfth one, the institute, uh, they instituted an award dash his honor. So they instituted an award in his honor is a correct preposition we have used in this sentence. So this is all about the prepositions, and I have given few few examples, but you can also search many examples. In my later classes, uh, I can also provide you these kind of um, helping. Um, fill in the blanks using the prepositions using all the grammar parts of speech everything okay thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe my channel as i said you before if you hit the bell icon you can get the notifications from me yeah happy sunday thank you